beastly, out of the way places to live in. This is the worst. <sighs> the walkway may as well be a swamp and the road is in shambles. That's if you can call it a road. I don't know what people are thinking. I suppose because there's only two houses on the road that are lit, they think it doesn't matter. Never mind, dear. I'm sure you'll win next time. Oh, there he is! Sergeant Major Morris. Hello. Mrs. White. Oh, Master White. Please, have a seat by the fire. Warm yourself. May I offer you a drink? You're too kind. Whiskey, if you have it. My father tells us you've travelled nearly the entire globe. Where is it you come from? India. Well, I'd quite like to go to India myself one of these days. Just to look around a bit. Better off where you are. Oh, I think it'd be fun to see those old temples and fakirs and jugglers. What was that you were telling me about the other day? Something about a monkey's paw? Oh, it's nothing. Well, at least nothing worth hearing. Monkey's paw? Just a bit of what some would call magic. Nothing, really. Well, do you have it with you? Here, today? May we see it? So what's so special about it? It had a spell cast on it by a holy man. An old fakir, he wanted to prove that fate ruled men's lives, that those who interfered did so to their own sorrow. He cast a spell on it so that three separate men would be granted three wishes. Well, if it is true, sir, why don't you have three? I have. And you had three wishes granted? I did. So has anyone else wished? Yes. The gentleman before me, I don't know of the first two wishes, but I know of his third, just how I came by the paw. Well, what was his last wish? Death. Well, if you've had your three wishes, Morris, it's no good to you now. Why do you keep it? I'm not sure. A reminder, perhaps? If you could have another three wishes, would you? I don't know. Morris, if you don't want to, at least give it to me. I'm not giving it to anyone. I threw it on the fire. If you keep it, it is your burden to bear. But don't blame me for what happens. I warn you, if I were you, I would throw it back on the fire. How do you do it? You hold it in your right hand and you wish aloud. But I warn you. Sounds like something off Arabian Nights. Well, I ought to get dinner started. Would the sergeant join us for dinner? Thank you, but no, I must be leaving. I really stopped by to say hello. A monkey's paw that grants wishes should wish for an extra pair of hands for me with all the housework. If you wish for something, wish for something sensible. Thank you for stopping by, and thank you again for the poor. Don't mask your greed with pleasantries, it is offensive. You got what you wanted, but I warn you, be careful. Not only does the paw grant you those wishes you utter aloud, but it also seems to grant those wishes that lurk deep within the dark subconscious of your mind. Yes, I understand, and thank you. Sometimes the wishes occur almost subtly, you'd swear they were coincidence. Perhaps they are coincidence. Did you give him anything for it? No, no. But he pressed me again to throw it away. Hardly. We're gonna be rich and famous. You make a quit work at the factory. And have our job just like you, Father. Watch what you say. Oh, I wouldn't go quitting your job just yet. Not over these foolish ideas. I wouldn't know what to wish for. Seems to me I have everything I want. 
Well, if you had enough money to pay off the house, that would make you happy, wouldn't it? Hmm. I suppose it would. Well, what are you waiting for? in my hand like a snake. Wow. I don't see the money. It must have been your imagination, dear. Well, no harm done, I guess. But it gave me a shock. I suppose you'll find the cash tied up in a big bag later in the middle of your bed. And something horrible squatting on top of the wardrobe as you pocket your ill-gotten gains. I suppose all old soldiers are the same. And we listen to such nonsense. Imagine wishes being granted in these days. And if they could, how could a few hundred pounds hurt you anyway? Could fall on his head from the sky. Morris said that things occurred so naturally that you could attribute them to coincidence. Maybe that's because they are coincidence. You know, I could swear it moved in my hand. I swear it. You thought it did. There's no thought about it. It did. Don't go breaking into the money before I get back. I'm afraid it will turn you into a mean, avaricious man. And we will have to disown you. I was... Asked to call. I come from Morn Megan's. Is anything the matter? Has anything happened to our son? What is it? Calm down now. Let's not jump to any conclusions. You've not brought us any bad news, have you, sir? I'm sorry. Is he hurt? Badly, but uh, not in any pain. Oh, thank God. Thank God for that. Uh, no, he, um... you, you see, he was caught in the machinery. The, the firm wish to extend their deepest condolences for your tragic loss. I, I beg you understand, I'm, I'm just their servant. I'm merely obeying orders. I, I, I was to say that Moore and Megan's uh, disclaim any responsibility. They admit no liability. Uh, however, in, in consideration for your son's services, uh, they wish to offer a certain uh, sum as compensation. How much is it? Two hundred pounds. Don't you think it's a bit cold in here, this evening? It's colder for him. The poor. Go to sleep. The poor! What about it? Where is it? It's on the mantel, why? Go get it. Go to sleep. Go get it now! <sighs> We 
wish was granted. We can wish him back. We can have our son back. It was only coincidence. Get it and wish. It was only coincidence. Wish. He's been dead for 10 days. He was caught up in the machinery, brutally mangled. He... Wish! It's wicked and foolish. Wish now! I wish our son alive again. Let it in! It! It is your 